so in, in our last video we just stopped over here so we're gonna continue from here on I think some problem with my video recorder it got, got cut so let's uh, go 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 ahead from from here so comma so we gave the x value now uh, the 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 plotters the scatter plot is like x and y axis right the first is going to be x and this next one is going to be y so in this case the x the y value is going to be x open so from 0 to 50 rows and then first column elements save this and run the script it should plot for us yeah so let's go ahead and make it more descriptive comma color equals blue comma marker equals zero comma label equals Setosa. So let's uh, plot another scatter on the same graph. Uh, in this case, we're going to take the rest of the data. So from 5200. Comma zero, comma x fifty two from fifty two hundred row. Take uh, the second column data, all the second column data. I mean, first zero one, so it actually second if you count from one. Then color, let's make it red. And then marker, let it be X. Label is gonna be, we'll see, color. So save this. Let's label this plot x label sepal length y label petal length so and then we have to say where should we put these these labels so pl dot legend location upper left and then pl dot show which is already typed below so this this thing should perfectly work so what we are doing here is we are validating so you could implement perceptron machine learning algorithm on only on data set that can be separated using a linear yeah, uh, line I mean line or a linear line okay so now, now you can see so this uh, O's all O's belongs to Setosa flower and all X belongs to Versicolor so that's actually uh, visually perceptible different so you can actually draw a line to separate them so we could it this thing concludes that we could apply a perceptron machine learning algorithm on this to do the prediction after training the algorithm with the data set that we have so in our next video tutorial uh, we'll be applying this uh, we'll be using the class that we define and then uh, train the algorithm and predict the flower Thanks for watching the tutorial. If you guys have any doubt, comment below. If not, like 
share and subscribe see you guys in the next tutorial bye from now